All right, friends. So let's do a couple of these major ones. Make sure you set your fingers every time. Don't use your thumbs so you can know what the shape of a major scale looks like. I want you to look at it from a big picture standpoint, right? Here's some D major. And see, I'm just going up a half step and then playing a major scale from each note, right? Using the whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half thing, right? Watch, here's, let's do an E flat. Now you should be able to do this from C to C. Do it across the board, right? Uh, let's do one more. Let's do a E major. Seeing what a scale looks like, right? And always go back to Do. Just got to know the shape of these. D major. I'm only going to give you a few seconds, guys. G major. G as in good. Awesome. F sharp major. Looking for that do, me, so, me, do. Uh, how about A flat major? B major. Yes, that one's a weird one on your hands. Cool, good job guys, you're doing great. Oh, fine, fine. Let's do E major. Good job, guys. Just a few more. Here we go. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, a major. Cool. How about B flat major? So now that you understand a major triad fairly well, uh, you know that if you flatten the third within a major triad, it makes it a minor triad. Now what if you flatten the fifth within that minor triad? Yes, you have a diminished. Now let's go back to the major. A major triad, sharpen the fifth, and you got an augmented. And those are your triads. Let's do some seventh chords, shall we? So, a uh, major seventh chord is a major triad with your major seven, and then a minor is a minor triad with a minor seven. All right, friends, so uh, let's work on some seventh chords, shall we? So the construction of a seventh chord is a major triad with a major seventh on top of it. Now, this is where intervals, intervals come into play because you should know your major seventh very well and your minor seventh very well, right? So we can play the seventh chord. So C major. Right, sounds very jazzy. Absolutely. Now let's make it a minor seventh. So how, how would the picture show? It showed that it was a minor third and a minor seventh, right? Beautiful. Very beautiful sounding chord, right? Awesome. Cool. Uh, let's do another easy one. G7. Uh, fairly easy, right? So we got your major triad, and then you're gonna add your seventh on top of it. Right, and then here's with the other hand. Beautiful, right? Good job, awesome. Let's immediately do uh, uh, some minor ones, right? Uh, D minor, so there's your D minor, right? Mm, so pretty, and then just to add that little, you know, little sprinkle on top.
Love it. Right? So practice a few of them. I'm not going to give you all of them, but you know.